Tomorrow is my day off from streaming where I will be grocery shopping, getting pet supplies, and doing things with my wife. Tonight is the very last night where, basically, I have to worry about, you know, financials. Because I'm supposed to be get, getting paid by YouTube, hopefully on Monday. If not, it should be this coming week, but it looks like typically YouTube would pay me around the 21st of every month. And they're going to pay me for my performance that I did here in May on these live streams, including the Super Chats, the memberships, and ad revenue. So the good news is, once this week hits, I should be back into the swing of things similar to how I used to when I was on Twitch. All right, I'm not going to be making as much, but at the very same time, uh, you know, I think things will eventually get back to kind of how they were once we start focusing in on things like memberships and the like, which I haven't been focusing on. All right, but tonight is the last night. So I really need to focus on tips. Please support the stream with a tip. Those tips are going directly to tomorrow. Meaning, they're going to pay for my groceries, pay for my food with my wife, pet supplies for Jasper, and the like. Like, that's the funds I'm using for tomorrow. This week, once I get paid by YouTube, everything will go back to normal. It won't be all about tips anymore. It'll be, hey, you want to become a channel member? You want to super chat? You want to do whatever? It's all good. I think that having all the content in one place actually would be beneficial. People not having to split, because really it used to be two communities. The Twitch streaming community, streaming viewers, and then the YouTube community on the other side. Now it's kind of like the best of both worlds together, but the thing is, you know what happens is that things get lost in translation. Not everyone came from Twitch to YouTube. In, in fact, you know, right now we have, what, 168 members? I had 900 subs on Twitch. You see what I'm saying? And definitely, you, I, I can tell you, the viewership's been down here. Um, it is what it is. You know, on Twitch, you had a troll element that came in. You had people who were gifting subs to each other. You know, all kinds of stuff that doesn't exist here on YouTube. But I think overall, yes, if I stick with it and I continue to improve these streams as I have over the course of this last month, I think that things will get better over time and things ultimately will work out. Okay, shout out to Matthew. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit this. Shout out to Matthew who has done a $5 tip. He says, I had a dream. I passed my coworker Ralph his laundry detergent in his car to help him with his his laundry at Laundromat Quest. I'm getting dream variety in the category of helping. <laughs> so you're dreaming constantly about helping people? I mean, I guess that's a nice thing. That must be a pleasant thought, right? That you're actually just helping out others. I mean, that's not a, certainly not a bad dream unless it feels more like a hassle to help people. Uh, also, shout out to Phil Smokes Crack, who took me $4.20. So say a quick question on a real note. What job would you try to get if you had to stop streaming for good right now? Uh, I don't even know because, sadly, I don't know what's available. I would have to do research. I have no idea what's available in this, this part of the country. Nor do I know what I would even be considered qualified for. Uh, it would, I, I can't just answer a question like that off the top of my head because I need to actually look into it. So, there you go. I don't know, man. Although, admittedly, I don't see how that could ever happen. Like, how could I ever not be able to stream? Even if I got banned from all the major places, there's minor places you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't foresee that ever happening. If there, if there's an audience that wants to see me stream, I will find a means to do it. I don't think that it would ever be, oh, I can't do it anymore. It would be more like I make the decision I don't want to do it. See? Okay. Yes, happy Juneteenth to everybody. Correct. Today is Juneteenth. The first ever national holiday. <sighs> One time I said I'm Italian from which part? Uh, if I if I'm remembering correctly, my mother used to tell me that our family came from Foggia, Italy. F O G G I A. That's what she she told me, I believe. Foggia, Italy. So there you go. I want to say thank you to everyone who has contributed. Wow, I was just about to say thanks to the people who contributed, and then Matthew contributed. He gave me five dollars. Said I had a dream where Anna from Metro Exodus becomes my girlfriend. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Well, Matthew, congratulations. You you certainly have quite the harem of girlfriends in your dreams, and uh, you have a nice, healthy imagination. And that's I guess that's a good thing, you know. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Matthew, for the five dollar tip. 
That gets us up to $15 in tips tonight. And Matthew, indeed, is actually the top contributor with two $5 tips. Thanks to everyone who's contributed so far. Again, guys, this is the last night, the home stretch for me, to rely solely on tips. And I do need as much as possible for tomorrow. If you can tip me tonight, if you like the stream, I would really appreciate it. Once I come back, hopefully on Monday, I'll get paid by YouTube. And then things will be back to normal. All right? But please, tonight, if you like the content, please tip me if you can. And thanks in advance. All right. I know you hated Miu's character, but do you think there'll be a void in the game now that she's <laughs> gone? Well, she served a purpose, again. even Let's though begin with a basic explanation. even though she absolutely was obnoxious with the things that she said, and she was always over the top trying to get, you know, saying, oh, look at me, I'm beautiful, which, of course, I bet most people didn't even believe, but she just had to kept saying it, and then she would say disgusting sexual things. She actually was a pretty useful character in the game, like they said. She made the drone for the first game that got all the pictures in the library. She had, um designed multiple things for them over the course of the game right she improved kibo she did all these things that have have come up as ways to help them in the class trials and stuff so in reality she was a helpful character that was just obnoxious to put up with you know so okay soul steel we have absolutely no idea where we're eating out tomorrow none we may be eating dirt off the ground uh we might be having mcdonald's or we could be eating dual lobster, sucking the meat out of each tail like this, succulent butter squirting down our bodies. I don't know. We need to think about it yet. Chances are we're not eating dual lobsters. It's too expensive. I would like to say thank you to those who've contributed so far. Uh, Reyes Sensei is currently the top contributor with a $10 tip. We're $32 in tips, guys. Please. This is the last night where I have to worry about this is a big deal. Please, if you can, tip me tonight. I would love to hit the tips goal tonight. As I said that, the pastryarchy just tip me $50. Wow, he says, sorry I'm late. See you on the video on demand. Hope this trial's a good one so far. Thank you, pastryarchy. So please, if you like the content, please support it. I do need the help tonight. Uh, well, hopefully I get paid by YouTube on Monday, and then all this baloney will go away, and we can just focus on games and not have to worry about it anymore. But tonight's the last night that it's really important. Please, if you can, please tip me. Please, if you can, please. We're going to get the ingredients to make a pot of homemade Italian sauce. Absolute fucking moron. That's right. I don't know what's going on tonight. Thank you, Barrel Shroud, for that tip. Let's do that. I don't know why I entertain some of these questions, but thank you, Barrel Shroud, for the tip. And that will get us up to $84 of tips tonight. Again, guys, we're a mere $16 away from having a vest on tonight's stream. We're very close. Shout out to a few people. We've got Mew. No, excuse me. We've got Ghost of Mew Irma, who tipped me $1.30. Who was talking about sucking it? No. Mew also took the $1.30 and is actually about putting stuff in her butt. No. Mr. Minecraftish one tipped me $1.30 and says, Can you put it in my butt? No. Julia Child took the $1.30 and says, Julia Child here, when you talk about cooking your sauce, you get my blood boiling and I get super excited. It's very disturbing. Mr. Minecraftish one did another $1.30 and said, Can I put it in your butt? No. And then Phil took the $1.30 and said, Okay, stop that now. All right. That was six $1 tips that came in. That's very odd. That never happens. It's very weird that we get that frequency of tips in like five seconds when I went to grab some TP from my bunghole. A fitting end. I do not fully understand that logic. Am I a shithead now? No. Sambuca to me dollar. Why is the tips go still two hundred? I've explained this a million times, Sambuca. If you don't pay attention, 
then I'm not gonna explain and, and go out of my way to derail my stream to fucking tell you specifically because you can't hear. I literally today alone have mentioned it about 10 times on my streams. So what you should do is actually attend my streams and listen and not derail us with bullshit. Thanks for the tip. There we go. Thanks, Sambuka. Appreciate that. Appreciate you listening up and not trying to act all offended like there's something wrong with me having a tip skull of a certain amount because you can't fucking listen. To... All right, guys, come on, let's rally. We can hit this tip skull. We get $200 tonight. I know we can do it. Everyone rally right now. Let's make it happen. No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Whoa. Put on my shoulder. Uh, Edwin Eisman says, No, Mew would have just killed Kokiji, but killed everyone else at the class trials that she controlled everything and successfully framed Kaito. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then she would have survived. Okay, I understand what you're saying. That's probably what they were trying to say then. All right, gotcha. All right. Thank you to everyone who did chill with me tonight and supported the stream. Looks like that's going to be it. We hit the $100, so at least that's something. Thank you guys very much for that support. Thank you for supporting me through the entire last two effing months since I lost my partnership with Twitch. I know it's been rough. It's been very rough for me. You guys have been here for me and helped me keep get through it. And then, you know, hopefully this week when I come back on Monday, I get paid by YouTube, and then we can just we can go back to normal. We're all contributions are welcome and, and, and appreciated, and I'm sure what will happen is then we'll see a variety of stuff coming in. Maybe some people who've been holding off on being members will become members and the like, and we'll go from there, all right? All right, here we go. <clears throat> yes, keep up the hard work. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for a great stream. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thanks for chilling with me. Thanks for adding stuff with fun co with fun conversation and commentary here. Uh, seriously. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Thank you so much. Great stream. Until next time. Alright. Alright, I stopped recording for YouTube, everybody. I'd like to say thank you again to everyone who chilled tonight. And by the way, again, what I, how I want to conclude tonight is basically say thank you guys. The last two months have been seriously rough. We know that. Like, I had to rely on your tips every single day as income. Without your tips, I would not have gotten through the last two months because I had no income from Twitch. So thank you so much for your support and allowing me to get through that tough time. When I come back on Monday, I hope YouTube pays me and then we should be good. Like I said, once YouTube sends that payment through, I'm going to reduce those tip goals back to 100. I'm not going to be harping on tips, tips, tips anymore. I'm going to say, hey, everything's welcome. Maybe let's get some memberships going and try to hit this membership goal by the end of the month. All right? And that's a good thing. I'm happy about that, that we can basically just be like, ah, it's a relief. Right? I get that fucking pressure off my back. I have to t not have to talk about it constantly. I hate having to talk about it constantly. And I will see you all on Monday. Sound good? Peace out later. Bye-bye.